parallel lines great nine right um straight lines that are that are the same distance from each other straight lines that are the same distance from each other along the whole of their length are called parallel lines they are parallel they never meet remember that parallel lines never meet so in this video we are going to work with uh, parallel lines in grade um, nine you will be given parallel lines so when we are working with parallel lines in green we are specifically going to work with uh, um, what we call corresponding angles as well as alternate as well as uh, cointerior they form what we call fan fan method so when you're working in parallel lines think of fan method then when you see an f shape remember that the f shape may be sideways upward downward but when you see an f shape remember that it's always going to be a chorus a coro a corresponding angles meaning that this angle and this angle yes this angle this angle and this angle will always be equal right when you're working with uh, parallel lines and they will use this your, your parallel lines you'll see by using by this arrows so that will indicate that you are working with a, 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 a corresponding so this is corresponding angles corresponding angles all right let's go to then we have cointeria cointeria lines cointeria when you're working with cointeria maybe they could be you may have parallel lines that are going there mind you that these two angles they add up to 180 degrees they will add up to 180 maybe if it was a and b here maybe you're supposed to add angle a plus angle b we are going to have 180 degrees this is what we call cointeria angles cointeria angles then let's go to um, the n shape meaning that this angle and this angle um, they will be equal they can form a z if you can check well when you try to put it in this manner you can see it forms a z there so right so we call this alternate angles alternate 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 angles alternate angles right so there must also be parallel lines that are involved there so you'll see by those arrows that these are parallel lines that are involved okay um actually let's consider uh a, a, a equation let's consider a question maybe let's say you are required to calculate you are required to calculate the value the value of the angles indicated maybe let's say they will they like it in this manner indicated by um by small letters more letters let's say let me just draw here's your parallel lines here's a transversal okay then there's another one that passes here there's also another one that passes here and there's also another parallel lines okay maybe here it's um a and here it's 45 degrees okay and remember these are your parallel lines these are your parallel lines okay parallel lines then we have 125 here and here it's b and let's consider here it's g it's f it's c maybe let's say it's e it's d right and maybe this line is w um Okay, maybe this line is E, that's going to be F, and this is A, and then this is C, definitely this one should be B, and this will be bigger D, okay, 
capital letter D. So let's start by getting A, guys. We can see A forms a Z, a Z, a Z shape. Remember what we told, I told you before we begin? A Z shape uh, falls under alternate angles. So meaning that A will be equal to 45. You can use colors uh, to see where is, the, where is Z and where is N. Check always when they're parallelized. Check is there any Z? Is there any N? Is there any U? Is there any F? Then you will know. Always use the fun method. So in this case, A is equal to 45 degrees. The reason it's alternate angles equal. Then comma, you know those uh, A, B. We have A, B, which is parallel to C, D. Then you get two marks in that. So let's look at for, let's look at B. B, B, you can see it forms a U shape. There's a U shape here. There's a U shape. So meaning that B plus 125 B plus, um, plus 125 will be equal to 180 degrees. Then when you take 180 minus 25, 125, that will be 55 degrees. So that makes B 55 degrees. Reason, core interior, core inth, core inth, it's core inth, then interior angles, uh, core interior angles supplementary not equal. The supplementary, supplementary, and we know that AB is parallel to CD. Already we have calculated B. We are done B. Now let's uh, take a look at C. So let's take a look at C. How do how can we get C? Uh, by the look of things, let's see, guys. Let's see. Um, when you look at C, you, you need to be very careful. Uh, can you see that C will also be equal to 55, isn't There's an F shape that, that, that is being formed here. There's an F shape. We can see there's, there's an F shape here. There's an F shape. Ra, ra. Ra, so meaning that this equals to this b and c are equal remember i told you that when you start uh, when it forms f, f shape remember that it's co corresponding so c will be equal to 55 degrees coro corresponding angles equal then you know comma uh, since let's name this we didn't did we name this let's name this s and we are going to say T, and this is going to be VW, VW. So ST, ST is parallel to VW. Then we are done with C. We are done with C. Let me, it's not supposed to be big. It's a small C. Let's look at D then. How do we get D, guys? How do we get D? How do we get D? Uh, D, we can see. It forms what we call a vertical opposite angle this is a vertical opposite angles remember from the study of straight lines we, we learn about um vertical opposite angles so this c and d will be equal so that makes d equal to 255 as well 55 degrees as well so reason um with with opposite angles uh, equal so we don't have to put uh, the, the, the parallel lines because not parallel so they're just equal right let's look at e at e guys uh, many of you can can see that d and e forms a straight line so there are angles on a straight line so we could just say e plus d is equals to 180 degrees and we could just say angle e Okay, let me just say so E and D is equal to 180 degrees. So we know that E, we know that this is 55, 180. So what is 180 minus 55? 180 minus 55, definitely that's 125. Reason, it's uh, adjacent angles on on a line, on a straight line, on, or I'll just say on a line. So we need F now. Oh, what can we see from F, guys? 
F we can see that it also forms um it also forms what it also forms an F shape so meaning that at F as well we are going to have 125 degrees resin corresponding angles uh remember that AB it's parallel to CD in this case so F is going to be uh f is going to be 125 what about g guys f and g uh, are angles on a straight line so we could add uh, these two we could just say g plus f so goes to 180 degrees hence we know that uh, at f it's 125 uh, and g we don't know so it goes to 180 degrees and g will be take this 120 180 minus 125 that will be 55 degrees so meaning that g as well will be uh, 55 degrees guys so guess we have uh, calculated every 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 small letter that is indicated in this diagram my advice is that check do you do you have an f there do you have a u there do you have an n or z there then remember that when it, it forms an F and there are parallel lines, it's going to be corresponding. When it forms a U and there are parallel lines, it's going to be co-interior. When it forms an N or Z shape, it's going to be an alternate. Always remember. Parallel lines, grade, 11, grade 9 and as well as grade 8 can benefit from this video. Um, if you are new to this channel, what are you waiting for? Let's do the right thing. Let's subscribe.